If you are a small YouTuber, then you need to watch this video. Cool? Cool. What's up, Cherishing Club fam? Welcome back to my channel. We're all about love, positivity, being a girl boss, and everything in that vicinity. In today's video, we are going to be talking, I'm going to be sharing with you guys real quick some things, basically ranting or just talking about um, the struggles of being a small YouTuber, what they don't, what they don't talk about enough, I feel like, on this platform about being a small YouTuber and what it looks like. Especially if you take this seriously. I know that I say all the time that YouTube is not my one, number one thing, but I do take it seriously. Please understand that I do still put hours into the content that I create for you guys. I, I work very hard. I do a lot of research. I do a lot of things to make sure that I do what I can for this channel. Now, mind you, visuals is not my strong suit. That's probably why YouTube is not my number one thing, but I do give it my all with you guys. If you're new to this channel, before we even continue with this video, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, make sure you do not miss any future videos, all of that good stuff stuff and follow me on all of my socials so cherishing flow underscore on instagram and cherishing flow on everything else and yeah let's get right into the video as a small youtuber there are a lot of different struggles that you go through one being that people don't really take seriously how much work you put into it i don't know if it's like some like behind the scenes secret like people seem to think that youtube is easy like oh all you do is record videos and post them like is you wanted to sum it up yeah that's what you do but it takes a lot more than that there's content planning there's making sure that there's quality videos it takes some people hours just to record the videos that doesn't include editing that doesn't include seo research that doesn't include marketing because promoting your videos and making sure that they get out there is a big part of it if you're trying to get paid doing youtube i am this close to monetization you guys and trying to get paid to do youtube it's like you have to be extremely strategic because you have to worry about copy Copywriting. You have to worry about getting uh, following the community guidelines so your videos don't get removed. What just happened to my light? And this is why I need to get some ring lights. I'm going to do that very soon. And that's another thing. It's expensive to start this up for you not to get paid at the beginning. The cameras, good quality cameras are not cheap. The camera that I'm using right now is $750. The camera, I've seen other people spend thousands on cameras. Editing software, that's good. That's not like your free software on your phone. It costs money. You have to invest into YouTube. YouTube is not just something you do dry along so and dry along so and is easy and free. You have to invest in it and invest in yourself. You have to compete with highly saturated niches. You have to put in so much thought and I feel like a lot of people really underestimate or underappreciate just how much work it is to be a YouTuber, to be a creative in general, especially considering it's not just like, oh, somebody teaches you, oh, you have to do this in step one and step two and step three, like you do at a regular nine to five, where somebody literally just shows you what to do. Half the time in YouTube, you have to research and learn yourself. Even if you look up the tutorials, the tutorials only take you a part of the way. You still have to do a whole bunch of learning from just straight up error your self via youtube it's not like that when you're working at mcdonald's or you're working even like any like even as a nanny or in a daycare center they show you with your eyes what to do they tell you they let you mess up over and over again and it's a different type it's not the same type of pressure as to where this is all coming from you it's your creativity. It is your baby. You're putting your heart and your soul and your feelings and what you're about on the line. And if people are not responding to that, it can hurt your feelings. You can take that personally. Another thing that people don't talk about enough on YouTube is how negative the small YouTuber community can actually be. For us to all be trying to do the same thing, y'all be mad, scandalous, and grimy. And let me start with this. I'm not a sub for sub person. So even though like y'all be talking about, oh, I sub to you and you didn't sub back or I sub to you and you sub to me for me to unsubscribe for you to unsubscribe. We're not talking about that. That's completely irrelevant. Y'all already know how I feel about sub to sub. If you don't, then go to my small YouTuber support um, playlist and look at my videos about growing your YouTube channel. And I promise you, you'll get an earful about how I feel about sub for sub because I feel like it is just it's not a good way to market yourself if you're trying to make bank from this. That's all I'm saying. 
period. And my thing is, is that even when people are sharing their ideas, they're asking questions, people can just be real venomous on social media. Like, instead of saying, hey, maybe you should do this, or I would suggest that you do this, they're just like, are you stupid? Are you dumb? You guys insult each other in the groups. You guys insult each other online. You comment under other people's stuff, just rude, telling myself you didn't support me. You guys come in my DMs often if I do not subscribe to your channel. Although I don't know how you know who I'm subscribed to do, who I'm subscribed to, because I don't believe that that is public. But... You coming at me, so I'm like, you're not subscribed to me. Why aren't you subscribed to me? I subscribe to you. Uh, too bad we can't genuinely support each other. I was like, it's not that I want you to win, bro. So I'll watch your videos. And trust me, that's more important than me to subscribe into your channel, seeing as to how you only need a 1,000 subscribers, but you need 4,000 watch, not minutes, but hours. So I watch videos, even of content that I don't necessarily enjoy. So that I can help other small YouTubers. However, you guys are so venomous and it makes it really hard for me to want to support anybody. Like sometimes I get so sick and tired of the foolery with the small YouTubers that I just don't want to get on YouTube at all. Because it's so much negative energy and I do want everybody to win. And I feel like if you put in the work and stop wanting people to just support you for the free all the time you'll get what you need. That is the issue with a lot of the small YouTubers in this community. And if you are someone who is, this is a passion for you, and it's genuine and you're really excited about it and it's not just all about the money, then you're gonna find yourself in awe and shock at how many people are so pressed about getting free support from others despite, red, despite quality or assurance or despite making sure that their content is worthy of all of the support that they're asking for. I'm all for supporting black businesses and this particular section is for black youtubers especially i su love supporting black businesses and i love supporting black youtubers especially however i feel the same way about supporting people's youtube channels as i do about black businesses i will support you but i'm not going to support you if you don't have quality I'm not supporting laziness, I'm not supporting mediocrity, and I'm not supporting people who want a whole lot of something for nothing. I'm not going to pay $50 for a tank top that don't got nothing on it. I am not going to pay, uh, I'm not going to pay $75 for a bracelet that took you 10 minutes to make. That is just a bunch of beads. I can do that. And as much as I'd love to support you, I feel like you need to understand that it's about the quality for me. For me, I'm not supporting nobody whose quality is trash. On YouTube, that is the same. If you are not editing your videos and you're not thinking about your content before you make it, everything is splotchy, you have horrible lighting, you don't care about your camera, so you use some old beat up Android to record your videos or some raggedy webcam. I mean, do what you can with what you have, but at the same time, invest and do not expect thousands of followers when your quality does not match up with that. Look at the quality of people who have a bunch of subscribers and then look at your quality. Are the two matching up? You can be upset if you up here with your quality content and nobody subscribing. You can't be mad at me, but you can be mad. But and also recognize that your videos may not be for me. I am not a beauty influencer. I am not a fashion influencer. And while I do support a lot of beauty and fashion and makeup YouTubers, seeing as how that's not my thing, if I don't have any connection with you, it's I don't have to. The thing is, this is this is this is the basic basis of this whole. Nobody has to support you. You have to earn support in order to make it. That is the bottom line. Nobody owes you anything. You owe it to yourself to put out content that makes people want to subscribe to you period you can't get mad at people for not supporting you you can't get mad at people for not being into what it is that you're posting or what you're talking about you just can't okay they don't like these kind of videos what can i do to level up what can i do to make my audience happy that's what you have to do don't come to me crying because i'm not subscribed to your channel and your quality is crap or you're not consistent you post like every two months and then you mad because you ain't got no subscribers who wants to subscribe to somebody that they never gonna see no videos from that's a waste of subscription and like it's free to subscribe to people i say yes it is free you so right sis but when i'm subscribing to channels that i don't like or i'm not interested in guess what's now coming up in my recommended those trash behind channels and videos like them that i don't want to see I'm sorry, but I'm not going to subscribe to a thousand people I don't like or care about. I'm sorry. And I cannot support the entirety of YouTube. It's not possible. 
you have to focus on the quality of your content. I feel like not enough people are doing that. I see so many people pushing sub for sub, sub for sub, sub for sub, or, or, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing for people to watch all of their videos, despite the fact that your videos are not of good quality. Like, I, I, I can't get over the, the process. I'm, I'm sitting here saying that, and I feel like I don't have any light right now, but y'all get what I'm saying. I, I put an effort, even though it may not be to your liking, and I understand if it's not, that's cool. Don't subscribe. But if it is, it's because you like me. You mess with my character, my personality, how I portray myself. I can't get around this ideal that everybody just wants something without working for it. And maybe it's because I'm a workaholic. Like, I am one of those people that's just constantly, constantly trying to work at stuff and, and get, and I'm like a chicken with my head cut off. Y'all know, y'all know how I am. I'm constantly, constantly working. But I just can't understand the mentality. Like, you don't want to work for it. You want everybody to just give it to you just because just because you black or just because you're also a small YouTuber. I'm supposed to just hand you stuff. Anyway, another thing they don't tell you about YouTube is how flaky YouTube can be. Like YouTube can be real janky with you. Like it can copyright stuff. Like you can do the exact same thing that another YouTuber does big YouTubers and their video is up and fine. But then your YouTube video gets flagged. Nani? Like, I'm always just, like, amazed at how it is that I, and I watch. I watch how certain channels, smaller YouTube channels, get flagged or they get copyrighted or they get blocked for doing the exact same thing that another YouTuber did. If you're a small YouTuber, this is my advice to you. If you're trying to get monetized, if you're trying to make this your career, my biggest and basic advice to you is to one not give up i know that it's hard but to focus on the quality of your subscribers make sure that the people that are viewing they're also commenting they're also liking they're also following you on your socials they're also engaging with you make sure that what you're you're enjoying what you're doing if you're focusing so much on the numbers on your analytics you're not going to enjoy the creative process and youtube is fun making videos is fun it's right here talking to y'all this is fun for me i'm a chatterbox i like to talk so talking to y'all is fun do what you enjoy with youtube i think that people that get on youtube and all they're thinking about is the numbers and analytics i gotta get my subs up i gotta get my watch time up i gotta work 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 and you're not thinking about enjoying it it's gonna suck and then when you get monetized it's still gonna suck because to be honest even when you get monetized you're not rich off the bat unless you're one of those people that go viral and a lot of people go viral from a couple of videos, but then they go right back down and they still not making no money. Like YouTube is a game. That's why multiple sources of income is important. <laughs> like, you know, you can't depend on YouTube. And if you don't have a passion for this, chill, if you have a passion for this, you're going to give up on it. You really need to have a passion. You need to tap into your creative juices and figure out what do you like to get Figure out what you like doing on YouTube and stop worrying about whether or not you have a million subscribers. Stop worrying about whether or not you have 5,000 watch hours. Stop worrying about if you have a million views. Stop worrying about that. Worry about the quality of the people that are subscribed. Worry about the quality of people that are viewing your channel. One thing that I prided myself on before I ever reached 1,000 subscribers or before I ever reached this close to the 4,000 watch hours that I need, one thing I prided myself on was just how much people who watch my videos genuinely effed with me. Like y'all genuinely effed with me and that was cool to me that you were genuinely following me on social media. We be having whole point blank conversations on social media, me and a lot of y'all, especially other small YouTubers. Like we have dead on conversations galore all the time. Even some people who don't have YouTube channels, we just be talking. And I really am cool with that. You really be commenting on my social medias, like commenting on my Instagram posts. And like, I could get like a few Instagram likes, but still like a bunch of comments because y'all just, the engagement is real. And you guys are really, y'all show out for me. And I don't really care if I have 100 million subscribers, 100 million. If I have like a million subscribers on YouTube, like I don't care. That's fine. If I don't, if I never make it to a million subscribers, I'm still grateful for every single subscriber that I have. And while I love growing, I love seeing the growth, I also make it a point to be grateful for where I am and to focus on the content and the relationship that I have with you guys already. And I feel like a lot of people are lacking in that area because I get so much hostility y'all with some daggone subscribers or some watching of the videos and oh I need you to do this and I need you to do that why you're not doing that we got to support each other you're gonna support each other whatever okay I support as much as I can 
Nobody can say that I don't. Nobody can say that I don't. But at the same time, I am a person and my life does not revolve around watching other people's YouTube channels or subscribing to people just because they think that they deserve it because we have the same color of skin. This may offend someone. This may piss someone off. What can you do? What can you say? Go ahead and leave your comment, your your opinions in the comment section down below. Let me know what frustrates you about being a small YouTuber. Let me know what your channel is about in the comment section down below. Comment down below what your channel is about, what you love to do, why you're creating your channel, how close you are to monetization with like all of that good stuff. And, you know, connect with each other in the comments. You know, if you find somebody whose niche pops out to you. Click it, subscribe, support, you know? And I will be checking out the comments. Y'all know I reply to all my comments. So as y'all are commenting, I will be checking them out. And if I'm not already subscribed to you, I will so I will look at your channel, check you out. And if I like what I see, which a lot of times I do, I will subscribe to you as well. And if I'm subscribed to you, I watch your videos. And a lot of times I'm always commenting, but I will definitely watch your videos. Even if I don't have time to sit there and comment, I promise I'm watching your videos. Make sure you follow me on all my socials. Cherish and flow underscore on Instagram, cherish and flow on everything else. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I really hope y'all can see that because.